start friends we are meeting here today to discuss the food situation the food problem in this country is causing concern to all of us and that is why i wish to speak to you on this subject today there has been failure of monsoon during the last few years this has resulted in shortage of food grains this shortage in food grains has caused serious problems we have to face the situation as it is today whatever may be the reason we have to maintain the supplies of food grains to the people as an immediate measure the government have to import food grains from other countries as quickly as possible cities of course are our main problem but in some of the states the rural areas have also been affected there has been a lot of suffering on this account i am of the opinion that the bigger cities in the country have to be dealt with in a special way if it is necessary we have to think of introducing rationing in these cities we must have the necessary machinery so that whenever there is need to introduce rationing it could be brought about at short notice the union finance minister has already offered to meet a part of the cost and i hope that the state governments will go ahead with the setting up of this machinery in this rural areas the supplies should be made through fair price shops and the trade in the rural areas should also play its part i do hope that the panchayats will take upon themselves a special responsibility in the present situation each and every village panchayat should keep an eye on everyone in the village to see that there is no starvation panchayats will also be in a position to know who are having stocks of food grains they should persuade such people to bring the stocks out in case of panchayats do not succeed in their efforts they should bring it to the notice of the authorities concerned i have no doubt that the panchayats will be doing a great service to the people of their areas presidents and other office bearers of the panchayats should make it their duty to move about in the village in the course of the next few months and take necessary measures to solve their own problems as much as they can the district authorities should also try to do their best and cooperate with the panchayats in this matter so far i have been laying much emphasis on the immediate issues and short term actions i wish to state in this connection that the government of india are also taking necessary action towards long term measures our food and agriculture minister has in his press statement given an indication of what we propose to do the import of food grains will have to continue and perhaps in a larger measure 
so that we can build up the necessary stock for distribution to the fair price shops letter from thiru s watson business manager national trading company bombay to the manager mr cobal electricals limited madras dear sir we are in receipt of your letter of the 29th june we regret very much to learn from you that an error has been made while making a debit in your account for the value of the goods supplied by us last month we should like to inform you that this was due entirely to a mistake on the part of one of our clerks we apologize for the mistake and you can rest assured that such mistakes will not be allowed to take place in future we are sorry to learn from your letter that the goods sent by us last month are not up to your expectations as you think the quality is poor and will be unsuitable for the requirements of the market as you are aware every item of our goods are tested by experts before they are dispatched to our customers our goods are well received throughout the country and we have not come across any such complaint from our customers so far assuring you of our best services at all times yours faithfully